I witnessed a real life hero the other day. Yeah. Wow. Hero. Loosely. All right. Was at the gas station. Right. And I don't know how I didn't hear it. It must have been when I was in the car with the music on, but um, I looked up and there's a car accident, like cars smoking and like the woman gets out clearly distraught. And uh, I look over like two pumps over an off duty, either firefighter or paramedic had like vans on and stuff yeah run pump still in the car just leaves it runs up the hill goes pulls this lady out of a car pull gets a dog pulls a dog out and like Jesus. call and he's on the phone directing traffic it was crazy off duty and i just pumped my gas and left <laughs> <laughs> But what I, I mean, there's, yeah, there's nothing you can do. Like, I, I guess if it was worse, like if it was impending, you know, I, I'd like to think that you might. Jump yeah, in I there. mean, yeah. But by the time I realized what was happening, he was already on Exa- the scene. Exactly. If you, if you drive by a an accident that just happened, do you stop? Yeah, I have before. Okay. Have. If what if there's already let's say two people there? Probably not. Depends on how bad it is. Um, when I was in high school, a girl in front of me uh drove off the road and like crashed into a tree yeah and i i was like behind her and i like pulled over and like made sure she was okay and all this stuff and like her parents came and found me during a foot uh during some sporting event yeah i don't know what it was and like were like thanking me and like as a bit like making a big deal i was like i was right behind her like what kind of monster just yeah. like waves and drives there's by. people like that it's crazy <laughs> you scream out your window you can't park there <laughs> jeez I think I would. Alan. I would like to think I would stop. You want it? I would like to think I would. Especially, I did stop. That actually happened to me. When? It was when I was uh, selling beer up in Cleveland. I feel like we would have heard about it. No, you did hear about it. The car flipped over. There were kids in it. They weren't buckled up. You guys definitely heard this. I have story. never heard this. Yeah. Has it, anybody in this room heard? I don't think so. You guys are fucking fucked because it's it definitely happened. I, the car in front of me. They're in like a Rav Four or something, a boxier car. They blew a tire and they overcorrected and they flipped. They did like two three sixties and they landed right back on the normal like tires, and then they drifted. So I followed them and ca- partly because I had to. But why do you have to? Because they were in front of me in the left lane and I was in the middle, and they were going right. So unless I hit them, I would have had to follow them. But. When they uh, got out, like they were all concussed, and uh, the dude had the like driver who was like the dad had like a huge gash in his arm, and all the kids were in like shock and bloody. It was wild. And what'd you do? I, I, luckily, I I was in shock. Did anybody call for an ambulance? Yeah. Who? I called. I you called, did not call for I an ambulance. I swear to God, I did. I swear to God, I did. And you called nine one one. Yeah. Other people got pulled over with us. They went to the people. I stayed in my car and I called nine one one. Wow, I can't. I don't remember you ever telling this story. This was probably. I, I think I remember you telling. This was that you witnessed this. I don't know if you told us that you actually did. 2017, 2018. So then you stayed on. You stayed there till the paramedics came, mm-hmm. and they talked to you. The, yeah, I didn't have to give a report or anything. They just let me go. Hmm. But I told them like why I stopped. They asked why I stopped. Probably to see if I fucking ran them off the road. Yeah. But I did not. Hmm. Wild times. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's not cool, but I'm proud of you. Well, I didn't do really much. Well, they were like you did more than I called. thought you would do. Hey. I guess that just speaks to my low expectations of you. There you go. Welcome to the Extra Medium Show. And welcome back to another episode of the Extra Medium Show. I'm Corey. I'm Alex. Shaman. In the corner. And what's special about today's episode? 100. 100 times we have blessed you. You have blessed us. (laughs) Something like that. (laughs) I guess. But anyway, we're here, and uh, we're talking road trip movies. Why? Why? (laughs) Because we're going on a road trip. Where are we going? We're going to Chicago, and then Chicago, and then (laughs) shooting up north, going to Milwaukee, 
yeah. for a gaming convention. Super nerdy, but I'm super excited about that too. Yeah. I'm uh very excited. I've never been to Chicago. Well, no, very much. I've never been to either and I've never had a never had a reason nor will I need a reason to go to Milwaukee probably again. So <sighs> let's go, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's not very far. They're not far away from each other. No, not at all. Yeah, I agree. So, but anyway, when we're talking road trip movies, one clearly stands out above the rest for me. Okay. And you probably know as well. Because it's probably yours too. Vacation? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. The quintessential. Yeah, the original vacation. Even though the uh, newest vacation was Ed Helms. Yeah. Not too bad. No, but I mean... I like that they didn't recreate the movie. Yeah. yeah. They made it a... Like a true sequel. Yeah, a true sequel to the first yeah. to the first one. So um I don't know if they could make that movie today. Uh, I think they could. It might not be the same, but if they're making Mel Brooks movies, they can make National Lampoon movies. Yeah. You know? Um it's clearly Disneyland, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's what the, they're even with the little song and everything. They would never close Disneyland. I agree. Like they won't wait to they do it in sections. Yeah. Would that even be like a possible like in the 80s whenever that came out? Like that's a real fear, though, right? What? Drive across the country like you don't have the Internet. I, I mean, mean, you could call. What, you, but you, why would you think to call and say, hey, is Disneyland going to be open next week? You know? Yeah. I wonder if that's ever happened. I, I'm sure it has. That's crazy. They well, don't close Florida, Clark. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't, I, I, yeah, I guess it, it could happen. I mean, it happened during COVID. I feel like yeah. you would call and, like, buy tickets, though. I don't know. Well, maybe for, like, a trip like that. Yeah. Where it's probably, like, a multi day thing. And you need to know how much you're going to spend. Yeah. I remember when going to Disney. Well, I don't really know the prices, but I'm I know for sure my family didn't spend ten thousand dollars on a Disney trip, like some people pay. Like it's so expensive to go. To Disney. Yeah, yeah, I went recently. It's ridiculous with no kids. Yeah. Is it worth it? No. Yeah, because you got all those long ass lines, and then you got to get the the dash pass or whatever it's called. Look, Even I, that, it's like, yeah. I get it, like and, 10. like, it's fun to, like, relive childhood memories and shit, all that, the Disney nostalgia. Yeah. But, like, one, it doesn't live up to it, to what you think. Rem- well, especially if you went as a kid, and yeah. then you go again as an adult. Yeah, it, it doesn't live up to it. And two, Disney adults are kind of weird. Disney adults, are... do you know a Disney adult? I do, yes, yeah. I, I know. Do. I know a few, yeah. Do you? That's why I hesitated to say that because they might listen to this. But I gotta I'll say it, they're weird. I mean, hey. I like, mean, I mean, I like you know. I know someone who goes to Disney World like five times a year, and that's and, a lot. and dresses up in outfits. That's a lot. It's a lot of money. Yeah. But we're going to a gaming convention next week, next weekend, yeah. and people that's would true. say that's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm really excited about the Cubs game we're going to. Oh, Some we're people going to Wrigley Field. That. But uh, that's silly. So get I a get brew, it. get a brew and a hot dog oh, in God. Wrigley Field. Opening day, Wrigley Field. Yeah, Oof, that's baseball. The Cubs. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still a little sore, a little tender from 2016. Oh yeah, well, but you know, gotta you gotta get over it. Gotta, gotta get over it. Not so sore that you didn't go out and buy a Cubs jersey. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah. Gotta look the part. Yeah. I bought a hat too. That's crazy. Uh, our local, the store I was at. The other day when I sent you guys pictures, thank you yeah. all for your feedback, by the way. Except hey. Shaman. Did you say anything? <laughs> I think he, he might yeah. have actually said looks good. Oh, all right. Well, you, I didn't ask. Never mind. I was asking one or the other, right? Yeah, the gray and the black or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I see. Okay, my bad. My bad. Discredited you. But they were selling a Cubs hat there, by the way. Like, mm. Did that, you buy it? No. Mm. No, I'm not doing it. I thought about it. I'm not doing it. The only one I would get is Henry Rowe and Gardner from um, Rookie of the Year. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm wearing Guardian stuff, so. You Which are? One? Yeah. You Damn. are? Damn. Yeah. See, I was I going, know, I thought man. about it, and I was like, no, nah, I don't know. I, don't know. I have a, I have a but winter hat. But it's not hat. like full-blown Guardians. It has like the Cleveland symbol and then like words and stuff, but it doesn't say like Guardians. So See, they had a throwback Cleveland Indians hat that was like blue and red with a C on it. It kind of looked like it could be a Cubs hat, and okay. I thought about getting that. To like secretly be wearing a Cleveland hat, but blend in with the Cubs, you know. But nah, I think I'm just going neutral. Nah, I'm I'm wearing the Cubs stuff, but I'm kind of rooting for the Brewers. Really? I think so. Don't wear Brewers stuff. I didn't buy any. Yeah, Brewers stuff's cool. It Brewers is. Brewers gear is cool. I like their their stuff. Maybe when we go to Milwaukee, you can get some, a Brewers hat or something. Don't don't tempt me with a good <laughs> time. And on the way up to Milwaukee, we may stop at. The Home Alone house. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. I'd like to, on the way back, stop at the uh, Breakfast Club High School. And I guess the Home Alone 3 house is near the Home Alone I don't know house, what Home Alone 3 is. I don't know if I've ever seen it. That's the one with a different kid. I know. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't, I've seen there, it. Because there's really? like a fourth yeah, one, a, too. A, I don't. I'm pretty sure I lied to somebody at work today. They're like, you seen Home Alone 3, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the one where the international that. spies get the race car? See, dumb. All the remote control car. Yeah. I've seen it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Dumb. Pretty good. Anywho, back to road trips. Oh, real quick too though. Um they tore down the Family Matters house. I looked Really? Twenty seventeen got demolished. There's apartment buildings there now. Because I wanted to see that too. I thought it'd be cool, but okay. Back to Do road trips. Do you think a lot, a lot of especially eighties movies or T V shows for that matter, um, are based in Chicago because that's like America's heartland? Midwest is is easy and it's safe. Probably cheaper than New York. Yeah, I say the pricing. Well, not even like the location because you can make anywhere look like anywhere. Yeah. It like the movie, like Breakfast Club is in. Ch- it's uh, Illinois. relatable. Yeah, and uh, Ferris Bueller is in Illinois. Yeah, because I think it has a certain look because if you put it in like you know the middle of you know Chicago. It could pass off as the middle of somewhere else too. Yeah, and I think like a Chicago suburb is like America. Yeah, yeah. like if you what place it in New America, York, it's gonna yeah, be, it's Americana. Like, yeah. Where is the Sandlot set? Sandlot is that's New York. No, is it Calif- I think it's California. Because he's a Dodger. He's a Dodger. Fan. Yeah. Okay. You're right. You're right. Yeah. But I don't. But know it where feels Midwesty though. It does. But you're probably right. They might have came from Chicago or somewhere because he mo- obviously moves in the beginning. Yeah. You know. Hmm. Maybe it's just what's his name uh, reminds me of Chicago. Uh, the dad, his stepdad. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Dennis Leary. Yeah. He he his he has a Chicago vibe. Yeah. Well, the thing is, uh, the Santa was shot in Utah. Hmm. I can see it. It was very dusty in that movie. Major League was shot in Milwaukee. Yep. Yeah. That's why they have Bob Euchre as the announcer. Oh, fun fact for you. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> back to road trip movies. Shaman, do you agree that vacation is? Yeah, that's the one most people say. Okay. So, knock that out. That's the best. Yeah. Number two. Oh, I want to say number two. Euro <sighs> trip. I like Euro trip. But is that like a road trip? Yeah, I'll yeah, count it. Yeah, it is. Because they go there and then they travel. Yeah, yeah okay. um, count that as a road trip. Planes, trains, and automobiles is up there. Yeah. Still holds up. And then there's the third. And I'm, I, it's hard. I can't. I don't know if I can pick. At least between planes, trains, and automobiles and Tommy Boy. Tommy Ooh. Boy is pretty good. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that one's tough. To be honest, Tommy Boy slipped my mind. I don't even know how. That's pretty damn good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Might be Tommy Boy for me, then. And what's the other one? Uh, You're killing it. I'm going to let you go. I don't know. Uh, doesn't he have another movie? Yeah, Black Sheep. Black Sheep. Is that a road trip? Mm, no. They stay in the county. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. But they stay in the state. He's running for governor, so they stay uh, in the state. Yeah. They do travel a lot, though. Mm-hmm. Um, due date? 
Yeah. With uh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. yeah. I saw it, I think, one time. I didn't love it. Not really? Yes, yeah. yeah I, I would say it's not the best. I thought it was fantastic. Really? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Do you like that movie model? Like the road trip where it's two people that don't mesh and then they go on this road trip and just problem after problem I after feel like problem. It's overplayed. Yeah, and then they end up like they get in a huge fight, or like someone does someone dirty. They they like split up, and then they realize they need each other. Yeah, they come back, and that's you just the, described like so many movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's overplayed. It's, it's overdone. Yeah, but I mean, there's only so many places you can go, right? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Um, what about uh? Oh shit! Here's one that you might not have thought of: uh, a goofy movie. Oh yeah. They go on like the camping trip or and stuff. Yeah, I remember yeah. Uh, the swamp scene. I think where they have like the thing like Chuck E. Cheese where the animatronic animals. Yeah, that whole movie is like an acid trip. Huh. It's oh a yeah, weird no doubt. Movie. They actually changed the movie. Like they've changed most of the goofy movies because it was uh, hinting at, you know. You, you can know, say acid. Well, acid and drugs, because like in the uh, one where he goes to college, they change that whole whole uh, cheese scene completely. Hmm. Like you know how he says it weird, and he's like, "No, I don't know the goofy movie word for word." Goofy well, movie too. <laughs> even well, you know how even he says words. like cheesy. No. So, <laughs> well, he says it, and you can, you can definitely tell he's hot. Yeah, exactly. He's in college, right? Um. <laughs> They changed it, so he Shane just says dancing it. around it like that. Well, I don't know. People all, all of a sudden he's subtle. I might have people from work listening to this. So subtle. Um, but no, like they changed it completely. Now he just says it regularly, and it's like, oh, it's cheese. And it's like, what the fuck? I'm gonna go back and see if there's a comparison. There's got to be a YouTube comparison. Yeah, there is. I saw it on TikTok. That's how <laughs> people I care that. about dumb shit. So. Yeah, and it's like what? Huh. But. Yeah, Goofy Moose. Bring Back High, Goofy Jr., whatever his name is. It wasn't even him. It was the friend, right? Yeah, it was a friend, the guy with the glasses. Who wears the headphones? What's yep. Goofy's son's name? Max. Max, yep. Whew. You guys are something else. Hey, big Goofy movie guys. <sighs> You're a big, you are big Goofy movie guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I could <help. laughs> uh, Little Miss Sunshine? That's a sad fucking movie. It's a good movie. Yeah. It's a real good uh, it's movie. It's been ages yeah, since I've trip. seen that. Yeah. God, I forgot that movie existed. It's so real. Like, it, I know yeah. those people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I might be related to those people. Hey. Would you count... This? Is, they're not on the road at all, so be very <laughs> broad with your definition of road trip movie. Okay. The Brave Little Toaster. I don't... No. You have to describe the plot. They go on a journey. It's a, it's 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 the same kind of principle as that, but they're obviously not on a road. Then trip. you have to count like Land Before Time. Yeah, you have to count um, Homeward Bound. Yeah, you have to. You know what I mean? So okay. it gets a little. I mean, we can. There's no rules hey. here, so hey. they're worth mentioning. Okay, the Brave Little Toaster. Have you seen that? I don't think so. That's one of Alex's like favorite movie. I hear her talk about. Is it, it a good? All is there the a time. good lesson in it or something? I think so. It's been a long time since I can I've appreciate seen. a good lesson, no matter how you know what they're delivering. Movies it. I really liked, FIFO, isn't that it? Yeah. The mouse. I don't know. Yeah. FIFO, Fife, FIFO, FIFO. I don't know. Well, Something yeah, like it's that. like American Tail yeah. and stuff. Yeah, uh, one where he's in American New York. Tail, T A I O. Uh, yeah. I think that's how. It I is. guarantee it is. I guarantee oh. it is. The one where he's in New York as like an immigrant. Um, and the Statue of Liberty is being built, so it teaches the viewer about um, immigration. <laughs> wow, well, it teaches, it teaches -E a story Five. of immigration. And the other one, he's in the Wild West. Yeah. So it teaches them the user or the cus or <laughs> viewer viewer about manifest destiny. <laughs> no, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, essentially, probably. <laughs> and then they just gave us their land. <laughs> That's funny. Um, We're the Millers? Yeah, that's yeah. definitely a road trip movie. With that, I would count RV2. I, I always get those yeah. two like combined. 
Why? I don't know. They're not the same. I know. And Did they come out around the same time? No, I think RV came out way before. I mean, yeah. they both have RVs. and they're, RVs, maybe and they're both it. around a f- family, quotations. Right. Um, but I, I understand why you get mixed up, because We Are the Millers sounds more like, you know, a family. Mm-hmm. And then RV just sounds like somebody rented an RV to do, you know, stuff. Robin Williams, though, right? Yeah. So RV. I mean, so, I mean... Um, I always thought I'd be a good mule. Yeah. Yeah. My wife and I feel like we look pretty innocent if you put me in the right clothes. I don't know, because when we were down in Mexico, they pointed you motherfuckers out every well, time. that's just the way I walk. <laughs> that's a different story. Him and Mark, bro, every, no matter where we went, they picked him them out. Try to sell me things. They, they thought I was up to no good. I think maybe they just... They saw a bunch of foreigners and was like, hey, good marks. Yeah, but they were like, that guy's a leader. We got to talk to oh, him. shut the fuck that, up. That's what it was. Shut it the was the way up. I walked. And they're like, all right, we're just going to skip the, the bullshit and go straight to the boss. That's, right. <laughs> that, that's why. <laughs> but uh, anyway, no, I just think, uh, yeah. So, officer, we're just headed down to good old Tijuana. <laughs> you know what I mean? Feel like I could do it. Tell yeah. you what, super. Uh, I don't like, like a part. A part. I don't either. A lot of stress. Yeah. It was. It was not great. What? Um, just when, be glad you didn't get stopped because I could just picture you get stopped and searched. I we mean, we did. got stopped in Mexico. We all did. Mm, true. My person no. didn't give a shit. Mine. Mine asked if I could speak Spanish. I said, no, can you speak English? She said, no, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I understood you. <laughs> yeah. Um, when you're on a road trip, if you're in the passenger seat, uh, do you prefer to sleep? Do you like no. to stay awake? It depends on the situation, how many people are in the car, what time it is, where you're going, all that. The more the people, the less you would sleep? No. Okay. The opposite. Yeah. I like to not be asleep if I'm the only other person. Yep, exactly. Yeah. yeah it's because then, like, that's kind of rude to the driver. Well, it's just the responsible the sa- thing safety. to do. Yeah. 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 What? I was in a car one time where someone fell asleep and we ran into a guardrail. Dang. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. This is in the middle of the desert. No help for my, like legitimately no help for for miles. <laughs> oh, this was on your cross cross country trek, yeah. so it's relevant. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that was uh, really cool and really crappy all at the same time. It was really cool for the experience and seeing all the stuff, but being in a car that long is never fantastic. Yeah, but like we got to go through the desert in Nevada at nighttime, and was it being so like dark? Obviously. I'd never seen the night look like how it did. It was really cool. Majestic, some might say. Mm-hmm. Went through the salt flats. I've never been out west like that. I mean, I've been to Vegas, but you can't see anything through those lights. Yeah. When we went through the Sierra Nevada, so that was pretty crazy, too. It was yeah. just be on a road, and all of a sudden, trees breaking your 10,000 feet up on a mountain. It's pretty sick. Furthest west I've been, I think, like Illinois. Not far. But, well. I mean, half the middle states, you know. It's pretty much the same as here. Yeah. What? It's pretty much the same as here. I've never been to Illinois. I've driven through it. No, not a, it's going to be an experience. Wisconsin either. What kind Uh, of snack do you eat? On on the trip? Yeah. Hmm. Are you a snacker? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be ridiculous. Uh. Don't you have a a desk drawer of snacks at, in your office? I do. I do too. You. Um, I usually go extra cheesy cheez its just because they're good. Um, some kind of gummy, probably snack. Definitely well, lifesaver gummy. gummies, bro. Lifesaver gummies, snack. Welch's gummies. Yeah. Whatever. You yeah. Know? Um, I prefer to have some kind of like beef jerky. Protein. You're putting a lot protein. of different mixes in your stomach with this shit, man. We're gonna be in the car for eight hours. Right, man. you're gonna you don't get fucked up from all that. 
You don't eat it all at the same time. Okay. But I'm I'm out <laughs> within a couple hours. <laughs> I'll have a full ass bag and that should be gone. I'll start with something light, like or not light, but breakfasty. You know what I mean? Maybe a, like donut. Or like uh, mini donuts, something like One that. One of them little roll, like sleeves of powdered donuts. Sure, love that shit. Crackers, fig yeah. newtons of any kind. Uncrustables. Oh, I love an uncrustable. Bro, you ever like put them in the toaster and toast it? Uh-uh. Bro, it. I, no joke. It will change your fucking life. It will. I don't think it will, but I'll. What, to, what jelly do you get? Uh, both. What jelly do you grape get? grape and strawberry? Both. If you had to pick one. I mean, grape is like the more commonly grape found. That's terrible. Kind of hard. What do you got? They I don't like, like the strawberry. strawberry anymore. Who doesn't? Wait, is it you that doesn't like strawberry? Or? Fucking, uh, I love strawberry. I like the strawberry. He just asked me which one. I get yeah. both to switch it up, yeah. keep things fresh. Do you get the uh, honey one? No, no. There's it a seems honey dry. One? Yeah, it's yellow. It's peanut butter and honey. I think so. That feels like, yeah, it just sucked the moisture out of your mouth. Shit. Hey, now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we didn't mention Euro Trip. I like Euro Trip. Cool. Um, it's pretty good. <laughs> good movie. What about Paul? Yeah. I, I, I don't think I've funny. ever seen that. Uh, it's funny. Did you know I just saw a thing that someone posted on like Facebook or something, and they just realized it and made me realize when people say they're backpacking through Europe, the, the, I always, and I, I agree with the person who posted this, thought they were walking around Europe with a backpack. Like it's hiking. It's because you're ignorant. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> but in reality, they're just, they're only suitcases, a backpack. Yeah. I never. You pictured somebody with like a walking stick. When people would be like, I was. To be I, honest, I'm, that's what I I'm fucking backpacking thought. Through mountain Europe. goats and shit. I'm like, holy fuck. Bro, that's, that's a what lot I of thought until I was like fucking 20. Damn. Yeah. Even if I thought that, I probably wouldn't tell people. I, I thought, I thought oh, like, yeah, I never thought that. he was the dude from fucking uh, <laughs> Hotel Transylvania. That guy. Backpack. That's such an obscure reference. Bro, but you knew who I was talking about. I don't. I don't. I, I'm I, sorry. I don't, I've, I've never, never seen, seen it. Are you fucking I'm, serious? Bro, you've never I'm, seen The Office. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen episodes. Uh, Hotel Transylvania. Bro. Are you a Tom Green fan? I like Tom Green. I like him. He has that really small role in um, Charlie's Angels. He's in Road Trip. Right. Yeah. But have you seen Charlie's Angels? Yeah. Where he's uh, Drew Barrymore's boyfriend. Yeah. And then he goes into the pipe, like the smokestack of his boat. I forget his name in the movie. It's like Tom or something like that. Have you seen Freddy Got Finger? No. Oh, he's like the star of it. It's a little much. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> he's, a, he's a good side character. Yeah, but the Tom Green show was great. You're probably too young for that. Yeah, I don't know. It was really edgy at the time. Do you like Pauly Shore? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite Pauly Shore movie? Who? Okay. Um, I I really don't know if I could pick one. I'm going to be honest. Like, they're all equally yeah, bad. Yeah, man, and they're equal. all so good. Yeah, In the Army Now. Yeah. Son-in-Law. Yeah. Biodome. Son- See, I'd have Son-in-Law say, would probably have to be. Son-in-Law one. is like near and dear to my heart for some reason. Biodome for me. Biodome because is cool. It, it was the first one I saw. That's yeah. the one that comes to mind first. Can you count Encino Man? Yeah. yeah. Well, he's not the the lead lead. lead. Yeah, but it's a, he, yeah. he's a, a lead actor. Yeah, that's that movie is great too. Yeah, he he, he has a good. It's so nineties. Yeah, it's so nineties. I love it. Is it, they made it and joke. Rudy's in it, right? They made a joke at the Oscars. Is it Brendan Fraser? Yeah. Um, it, the host was uh, Jimmy Kimmel, and he was like, Paul, this is me paraphrasing very badly. Polly For- Polly Shore is at home right now kicking air when uh, both Brendan Fraser and... Uh, Rudy. Rudy. Yeah, his name. I don't remember his name. Sean Astin. Hmm. Okay. Good pool. Got like uh, an Oscar before he did or yeah. something like that. Pauly Shore played the guy in the Goofy movie that makes the... Uh... <laughs> he did. He, yeah. Bro, I was just like, that's fucking him. Yeah. That's funny. I see him pop up a lot on my social media because I follow a comedian who like is like his... who He's like mentoring, kind of. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a, And she like hangs out. So I like see him and stuff. Like... I just saw him. He did like a, a show or something with the guy from... I think 90 Day Fiance. The guy with no neck? Mm-hmm. How'd I know? 
that it was him. That's the only person I can tell you from that show. Did you see, you know who has, is it Haspula? Has, yeah. The Mike Tyson video? No, he has a. Uh, Did you see that? I didn't. All right, go ahead. I'll, I'll let you tell he you. He has a, a trading card coming out this year. No. An autograph card. There's a video of him and Mike Tyson. And he's like punching Mike Tyson, like boxing him, like hitting him in the face. Yeah. Mike Tyson clearly doesn't know he's a grown man. And picks him up, <laughs> takes his hat off, and like nibbles on his ear. <laughs> it is so funny. It's so uncomfortable. You could tell like he does not know that that's an adult. Like he treats him like a baby. Like it's insane. He pick, like and he's like nuzzling in his neck and stuff. It's crazy. You gotta watch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane bro the disrespect bro. he didn't know Mike Tyson doesn't pay attention golly oh shit what are you gonna do it's fucking Mike Tyson I bet you he froze oh, yeah he doesn't do it he does oh, you just gotta see it for yourself it's great Jesus oh. um do you have more Mm-mm. you don't the have any more road trip the last one I want to bring up, I don't know if we we're talking about, you know, any more travel, uh, road trips. Yeah, of course. Uh, Green Book. Green Book. I don't know what that is. It's one where the uh, piano player hires uh, the Italian <laughs> dude. The what? The piano okay, player. Okay. He, he said it him, weird, right? He tickled the ivories when so, he said it, too. Yeah, he did. He had spare fingers. Go yeah. Ahead. Well, he, he, he hires, he's a famous piano player, and it's like in the 50s. Oh, I know. Yeah, and he's, I know. Yeah, and he's Doctor Shirley, and he hires this like out of work like Italian. I don't want to say mobster, but like he does, you know, jobs for people. Um, and he takes him to the south, and shit starts to go wrong. It's actually a very good movie. Yeah. Um, and they travel all over, you know, the south and shit, playing. Hmm. They, then they become friends. I can't believe your list is done. There's some bangers. Driving right there. Miss Daisy. I mean, yeah, that is. It's not really a road trip. I, guess. I mean, it is, I guess. I mean, they drive a lot. Um, Rain Man? Mm. It's a road trip, right? I think so, yeah. 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 Tell me you've seen Ro- Rain Man. I have. Yeah. Okay. That's a sad one. Um, the yeah, Bucket sad, List? but not. That's, uh, Morgan Freeman? Yeah. Is that a road trip or just a traveling? Road? I think it's just, it's just yeah. I don't think they do it the road. Um, Wild Hogs. Yep. Wild Hogs. <sighs> hey, we're not, watch, we didn't say no, good no, no, movies no, no, only. No, no. What about? I watched that so much when it like first came out. Why? I don't know. I don't know. That's crazy. I know. I feel like you wanted to be a you know just one of, no. one of the guys on the motorcycle. Pick another one, another movie, dude. I, know. <laughs> I don't know if my sister liked it a lot because she was. Young at the, and you know sometimes like kids will just watch a movie yeah. over and over. I don't know if it was that. I don't know. I got more bangers if, unless Shaman you got another. I have one. I right, go. Uh, on. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, that was, I was yeah. gonna say. It. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Down. What about Going when Harry place... met Lloyd? It's. I mean. It's not a road trip movie. Do you like that one more than Dumb and Dumber? No. What kind of stupid ass question? I'm is just that? asking. I just got. Sorry for getting movie. angry like that, but. I feel like it's rightfully angry to ask, if you ask somebody that question. This it's one, one of the greatest comedies of all time. Yeah. Uh, the next one, Borderline, uh, a league of their own. Uh, they travel on a bus all yeah, over. Yeah, but then you. Can I say like where your head's league. at, Shaman. I like okay, it. Okay, like it's Major League. No, they fly. No, they don't. Yeah, they got that janky ass plane. And then they take the bus. They take a bus a couple times. Yeah. I'm gonna say no, but I like. I like uh it's an honorable mention. It is. Okay. Um Zombie Land? Yes. Yeah. I mean they're going to the amusement park. Emma Stone is hot in that movie. I like Emma Stone. She's pretty cool. Cool guy. She's of age in that movie, right? Yeah. I'm not crazy. I'm not. Mm-hmm. She's I think our age. Okay. We're all three different ages. That's true. Well, at least at our you, age. <laughs> well, me and you are semi yeah. same age. So yeah. it could be creepy that I said that. Could be. Eh, I'm down with it. I'll, I'm a creep then. Well, Call me a creep. All right. Um, Tammy. Yeah. Get him to the Greek. That's a good one. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that one all the way through. There's a funny scene where he has to put a balloon up his butt. 
Is that the, the one where like he he like he has to sneeze? Yeah, that's what what because he has the balloon in his ass. Okay. <laughs> And he just makes the weakest sneeze. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, are you serious, mate? Because if, if it ruptured the balloon or something like that. He's like, you got to clench. Uh, Beavis and Butthead to America. There's a new Beavis and Butthead movie coming out. Yeah. yeah. Or show? Is it a movie it's or a show? Okay. I think it already came out. Oh, shit. Because I think it came out after the new South Park came out. Mm. Which are fantastic, by the way. Yeah. The new South Park. Oh man, they go at uh, Kanye pretty hard. They go at um, William and Kate really hard. Why? Because it's funny. All right. What do you mean? No, I just don't. Why? They call out hypocrisy. Okay. I get it. Um, I feel like you defending Kanye and no, I'm not. William and Kate. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh. Um, you guys heard it here, avid Kanye defender, Alex. Uh, <laughs> all right, um, that's it for road trip movies. Let us know what we missed. Shaman, what'd you watch? God is coming at me. Um, Transition, God. Yeah, so I I threw it back a little bit. Um, Shit, yeah, throw know, that thing back. You know how Shit. I do. Throw you know, that thing back. You know how I do. Uh, <laughs> I uh, don't. <laughs> uh, I watched uh, Goodfellas. Oh. One of the best movies ever. Yeah, made. one of the best Still soundtracks. Good. Everything. Yeah, that's a. I'll dig the hole. The that scene one, right? where he first takes his wife on the date, and they go through the back of the restaurant, mm-hmm. and and then he kissed me is playing. Oh, it's one of the most like best cinematic scenes in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Loved it. You know the song that's playing. I do. That's good. It's good stuff. I didn't know the song, yeah. but yeah, it's a good movie. I'd have killed what's his name a lot sooner. Uh, they all died. Oh, oh, yeah. Who? Uh, uh, Vinny. Uh, what's his real name? Joe Pesci. Yeah, I knew it was something Pesci, but I'd have killed his. Ass. He was too like. You can't kill him, man, because he's about to be a made man. You can't kill a made man. Well, even before that, like he, he just uncontrollable. Yeah. He killed the one guy. He killed the, the kid. Mm-hmm. For no fucking reason, like yeah, and he was not a made man, or wasn't even being thought of being a made man yet. I'm like, I'd have cut him loose. <laughs> Do you know his mom in the movie is Martin Scorsese's real mom? No. When they, I did the guy, hear that. Yeah, when they have the guy in the trunk and they go and eat dinner at like midnight. That's Martin Scorsese's mom. That was all improvised. I bet he like in his head, like he's picturing a mom. So he's just like, just use my mom because that's, that's exactly who, what he says. Yeah. Yeah, I saw an interview with him talking about it. Yeah, because that's who he pictured. Like, yep, that's exactly it. Huh, look at me. Me and Marty thinking the same. <laughs> they have a new movie coming out. I don't remember what it's called, but uh, it seems to be promising. Yeah. What'd you watch? <laughs> it sounds like she's strangling her. <laughs> all right uh i watched um can you come back to me what did you watch um i watched south park yeah and that's what uh that's that was gonna be my what did you watch and i kind of said it too soon but i um they go at kanye for the anti-jew thing pretty yeah. hard right and uh William and Kate, for, they're protesting that they want privacy. So they're out, they're out because it's ridiculous. They write books and stuff, and, right? And then want privacy. Yeah. yeah. So like they're outside, like marching. Like, we want privacy. We want. It's funny. Um, Get it? They don't shy away from things. Um, in the same breath, you should watch. Is it Six Days Till Air? Is what it's called. Fuck. I think it's, that's what it's called. It's a documentary about how they make South Park episodes. It's on YouTube. Mm. And so, Oh, I get it, because they only have six days in between episodes. Yeah, and they keep it so relevant. Like, right. Um, the one episode it, uh, centered around the Washington Redskins, mm-hmm. and RG3 was the quarterback. Mm-hmm. So in the episode, RG3 was the quarterback of the Redskins. But then that week, that weekend... 
he got benched for Kirk Cousins. And they went back and changed everything and put Kirk Cousins in the episode instead of RG3. Oh, shit. So it would be like, realistic. Like, it's really good. You should watch it. Damn. Them doing the voices and, like, him having his daughter, like, do Ike's voice and having her cuss and stuff. It's really good. Six Days to Air, I believe it was. Heck, yeah. Yeah. I have been watching another one of those competition shows that I like to watch. Um, Forged and Fire. Oh, that's good. Forged in Fire. Yeah. Okay. I thought have you, you seen Forged in Fire. No. Like, it's a great show. Have you seen it? Um, It's about... I agree, Shima. Let me guess. I haven't seen it. Let me guess. It's about people making weapons out seen of... It? You're lying. I have not seen it All out right. of, uh, like, blacksmithing. Basically. Really? Yeah. Weapons? Yeah. Swords and knives for the most part. I've people. never seen it. Never seen it. Um, my toxic trait is I think I could fucking do it right now. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. It looks easy. As sh- they're just. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get up there and it's not that easy. They're fucking like just dripping sweat. Oh, it's hot. Fuck. Is that the biggest? Somebody had like a, a heart attack and stuff while doing it. Is that the biggest uh, challenge? The heat. Uh, that no. time. No, and sometimes they skill. have to combine metals. That's hard to do it correctly. Yeah, they have it like you have to do it a certain way sometimes. Yeah, you s- whether it's Damascus or like uh, folding and shit yeah. like that. Where you could put a, uh, you have to use like a, um, a shock or like a suspension string, a spring, to make your so use what's your, metal. your medieval weapon of choice. My medieval weapon, um, I'd like to think I had a shield, so just like a one-handed, long sword, medium sword. Shaman? Yeah. You've yeah. never thought about this? I consider myself a mace man. You think personally, so? Personally, I think so. Do you have a shield? I feel like you don't have a shield. Maybe. I don't know. Probably no, like I don't that. think so. I, don't think, you- I think I have a shield. All right. Sadie says hi. I think I have a shield, but I don't, uh, I don't use it. He loses it fairly yeah. quickly. It's either that or you have one of those mini shields that go on your forearm. Yeah. Uh, is, you know uh, what I'm the, saying? Uh, or I have a bow. Yeah. A bow, yeah. I probably have like a one handed axe. I'm probably bow bow and dagger to be honest. I don't need that hand to hand combat. That is true. Ranged uh it, why did both you guys just describe your D and D character? Well <laughs> to a point. That is true. Yeah. That is true. Even though I think I would be <laughs> I think I would be good in hand to hand combat at LARPing. I There's have, a LARP thing at the convention. I know. I saw that. I will fuck somebody up. I will. You think so? uh, th- th- those people... You can go hard, so right? Like, yeah. 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 No, I'll fuck somebody up. I don't... You, I those don't, dudes are not athletic. Uh, I've seen people yeah. LARP. <laughs> <laughs> I will be in that bitch throwing backflips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so... Con- that th- Maybe that's my toxic trait, is I'm overly confident that I would whoop somebody's ass in LARP. I don't know. There's some people out there that, you know, the guy who played Darth Maul, he does that shit at conventions all the time. And this dude's a fucking bro. He's just swinging okay, shit. Obviously, there's probably like pros. You yeah. know what I mean? Not pros, but yeah. Upper. I'm talking your average. Yeah, your average. If I, if I, I yeah, beat. somebody's. I see these people out at the park or whatever. They gotta take a shot of their inhaler. I roll up on them. I'm laying. I, okay, Later. you guys keep talking your shit because I I, oh, no, cannot, I, I I cannot wait to see you get fucked. I don't think we're gonna be able to. to. I don't think no, we're gonna be able. I believe you have to come with your own stuff, like stuff. So yeah. a part of me really wants to dress up, but it's too late. I no, it's not. Like shame. Let's get vault suits. Best? Bowser. No, I got the freaking cape and shit, bro. Shame. Let's get vault suits and pit boys. That'd be cool. I'd have a hard time finding them in my <laughs> size. I, that's a lot of, a lot of work. That really wouldn't be that much work because you can. Then you got to wear it all day. Yeah. I mean, if there's ever a time just to just like a regular out. like jumpsuit. What what, what would you dress up as? If you had to dress up for a video game convention, I don't know that people dress up to be honest. They do. Mm. Uh, soap. What from? Or, Call of Duty, or no, probably uh, Captain Price from Call of Duty. Yeah. Hmm. 
Shaman, what would you, if you could pick anybody? If I could pick it and I could make the costume, Master Chief. Ooh. Yeah. That's pretty cool, too. Hmm. I might go Nick Valentine. That'd be dope. I get the whole side yeah. of the face. If I could do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Who's Nick Valentine? He's from Fallout, Fallout 4. He's mm. the detective. Yeah. He but helps he's, you find yourself. But he's a synth. Yeah. He's what? He's a synth. A robot. robot. Oh. But everybody knows he's a robot, but he's cool. Yeah, he's, he's a, chill like that. Yeah, yeah. I he's got awesome. you. He's like old time noir vibe. Yeah, you know what I mean. I like okay. it. I, I like that. Yeah, It'd be cool. I like, do that like the three D. Uh, and I would try and do game. it for like Halloween, but nobody would get it, and I'd be pissed. It's like, true. I would spend all this time and money making this costume, and nobody. It would wouldn't get even it. take that much to make. Like you just the get face would be hard. Th- well, you get like somebody who knows how to do the the like the three-dimensional painting yeah. all you have to do is do like one side of your face and then get a, like a trench coat and a hat yeah That'd be cool all right nerding out uh enough for everybody but if you've listened this far thank you we appreciate you thank you we're at our 100th episode and we appreciate all the support yes let us know which episode's your favorite if you want um or let don't. us know which episode is your least favorite shaman a little show trivia what is the name of our first episode? <laughs> don't look it up. <laughs> you don't know? It's been so Alex, long. Alex, do you know? Glory lasts forever. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Who was our first guest? Uh, Was it Jace? Kyle? Oh, no. You talk like... Jay? Jedi J? I don't, I don't know, to be honest. All right. <laughs> I think it was Kyle. I was th- or it's... Uh, um. We did the college episode with Chin. Chin. No, it wasn't Chin. I okay. think Kyle was first. Okay. Kyle J. And then first outside guest was Jimmy Ace Lewis. See, that's what I, when you said guest, like yeah, that's what I like thought you meant. Yeah. Big Jim. Yeah. Good. He's got big things happening too. He does. Follow him on uh, Instagram. He's yeah. got projects coming out. So, anyway, as always, thank you and follow us on the social medias. And until next time, stay safe.